Okay guys, welcome back. Part four. Um, part three ended abruptly. I accidentally hit the button and I wasn't supposed to. So, okay. So that just uh, ended part three where I was at. So I'll continue on from here. <clears throat> I was right here on the chipboard drawer and it, it's a mess and it, um, but yeah, well, I've done the best I can with how much I have and I don't hardly use it anymore. So that was what it was next. Okay, next one. This is card stack. This is all eight and a half by 11. Um, there's like some specialty things, um, foils, um, like mulberry paper and yeah, like, um, you know, like handmade papers and that kind of stuff all in there. So those, that's just kind of fits in there. So that's what I did with that. Right here we got crepe paper. So there's all my crepe paper that I have and I have the, I have them, you know, these little pink things trying to you know, keep them more separate and keep them from rolling and that kind of stuff. And then these are like the large piece pieces. Down here, tablecloths and ruffle strips. So all these different tablecloths that I've gotten, at, you know, like um, Walmart or Dollar Tree or whatever. And then strips that I have sewn. This is um, some um, ruffle strips that um, somebody gifted me. So I keep those in here. So anytime I want any of that, I go right to there. And then the bottom one, this is... This is packed too. This is all thickers. Um, yeah, just tons of thickers. Don't ask me why. I always forget to use them. I have all these. And then down here in the front are all kinds of like little, little words. You know, there's Maggie Holmes ones. There's um, just some of these from like um, different colors, like from Michaels and stuff. So that's there on the bottom. All right. Don't mind my dirty floor. I didn't vacuum before I did this. <laughs> All right, so then back here behind me is the other side of my desk. So that's this. It's already showed you this side over here where I'm sitting. This side over here is where I'm gonna show you now. Okay, so these are these are these little tub um, cubes I was telling you that are from Michaels. So they are quite a bit smaller than the ones that I got that I previously had. So that's why I say they don't match up. So they can't be like stacked together. So this one has two things. I have a lot of my papers separated into here. Like this one is a bunch of these like beaded papers. Okay. This one is other kinds of specialty papers like um, here's like some uh, mylars. Here's um, like uh, like a velvet. There's like you know like a leather looking some of that. There's a bunch of the fabric paper. So that is all in there. And then these two little drawers. This one has all kinds of little containers in it. And this one, pipe papers. Okay, over here, this one, more specialty papers. This one, I believe, are all like, um, there's corrugated, there's like foil. These are more like specialty papers for collections. So that's what's in there. And then down under here is, if I can pull these out all kinds of, I get my hand on it. These are all kinds of glitters. So, all just kinds of glitter papers in there. And those are all 12 by 12s. This drawer has something I used to use way more of, four by six mat stacks. So there's all different colors of plain ones. And then this one is all straws. Okay, and then I have my um, sewing machine right there in the middle, so I can just leave it set up. So when I want to sew on projects, and then I got two more cubes right here beside it. So these two are the same size as the other two on the other side. So this one is um, just kind of more um, Maggie papers, confetti and craft market, stuff like that. Um, that little pink tub, I just started putting all my... Um, threads and stuff in it so it'll be right next to my sewing machine so I can reach it easy and then in here this one is divided up this is like all kinds of like the you know the craft paints and stuff that I have in here I hardly ever get into that anymore and then up top that is a pretty little lamp that I got at Ikea love that here's an Heidi, X, Heidi Swap Memdex thing that I've got a few of my Memdexes in and just some other pretty jars and stuff 
And then here, this one has um, a couple different shelves. So this one here is all foils. This one here is all vellums. And then this one here is all um, acetates. Okay, and then underneath is this three little slot thing. And these are more like specialty papers, but like little, like little pieces. So yeah, I got like mulberry papers and handmade papers, um, scraps, like Tim Holt, that UFO paper, um, wood paper, um, yeah, just all kinds of specialty type things in there. This one is all kinds of, like, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, you know, like, sewing patterns. So I would like, like to use these a lot on, at least I did in the past, cut them up and use them for making stuff out of, because it has a really nice look to it. And then I have an old book that I tear pages out of and stuff sometimes. Okay, and then this one in here, I just have all my, um, I told you guys I used to do uh, way more cards and stuff, and so I have a ton more art supplies um, that I don't use anywhere near like I used to. So this is this big, huge pack of Zig clean color real brush markers expensive very nice um yeah i can't believe they're just sitting okay so underneath here this side of this table is being held up by that shelf and by that other one on the opposite end right there okay so on this one um divided up into a bunch of like resin pieces and all these little trays of mm, they're kind of like a filler, I guess. So there's all those. Next one down. This is buttons and metals and keys and stuff. Stuff that I don't use very much anymore. Tons of, like, Tim Holtz stuff. And darker metal pieces and stuff like that that I just don't use as much. I need to, like, paint them or something, so I'll use them, I guess. And then this is all, like, buttons. Okay. This one is all of my, um... Distress oxide inks. So I have them all in these little trays here that I got at, um, I think, at Dollar Tree. So these are all my distress oxide inks. Here's like my um, my mat to work on. Here's all my stamp positioners back here. My Misty and my We Are Memory Keepers. Um, there's a few inks here. Other inks down here on the sides. Um, and then I have like all my um, my my sample cards, so I've stamped out each one, so what the color looks like, what the name of it is, who it's by. So like these are all Hero Arts um, inks that I have. These are all um, Distress Oxides inks that I have. These are all. Uh, let's see. I think these are these are all Stampin' Up colors. I have, and then these are all, let's see, Distress Inks, yeah, these are all the Distress Inks, and then I think I have a little one of, well, there's just one or two of Simon Says Stamp inks that I have, oh, and then here's my Delicata inks, so anyway, it's just, um, they're just on rings to show me what colors, like, sometimes you can't you don't get a good idea from the color on the outside of the container. So that's all stamped out. So it's ready. And then in here, in this folder, I have, let me see, um, I have little separations. So little, um, so my little foam things that go on top of the little, like the ink blenders, I have them in the colors. And so they're in the slots. So when I, you know, I use when I just grab the color. And again, this is when I did a lot more um, stamping back then. And there's a little make art station. Okay, in here is tags. <laughs> okay, I need, I have a tag problem. Um, I, I, I don't know why I bought so many. I just have tons and tons and tons of different tags. And then I don't use them. I always end up making my own. So I need to get rid of some of these tags. There's just a ton. Ton, 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 and there's some that have like tags, uh, like the little set. I guess it's from Hobby Lobby. It came with the 
twine and the tags and the uh, stamps. Have a couple of those back there. And again, they're in, separated into little um, dishes and stuff so that they can you know, be stored easier than rather than just all in one spot. And then down here, more um, inks. So these are all these are all the Stampin' Ups inks that I have. Down here, this is all my embossing um, powders and um, you know, my ink blending tools there. Here are a bunch of different types of like watercolor paper and stuff for like card bases um, that are already cut into size. And then um, back here more ink blenders and like there's delicata inks here's like all of my um, Tim Holtz distress inks some of the Simon said stamp in there so they're all kind of I got them kind of got them all in color families separated up into these tins makes it a lot easier to store so yeah but again um, yeah I'm not hardly using them need to start getting it back into my stamping Okay, so that's all stamping in there. Okay, over here, more dies because I wanted to cut, keep all my die cutting stuff in the in close to where the die cutting machine was. So up here on top is this kind of little container, and this has all of my b real large steel rule dies. So you know, big long ones that make projects and stuff. So those are on there. A couple of the newer spellbinder ones that I got. So, and then there's a whole stack of them just kind of back in there of just the regular size one but they're still still real a bunch of more long ones right here uh in here this is one of the big larger cubes so this one has like all my tools um like it's got like a hammer and screwdriver and just different stuff like that down here dies still real dies all those okay more dies down here still real dies and this one is just kind of random um, you know, craft supplies. Okay, I gotta keep a little stool, my garbage can, and then over here, more dies. These are the thin dies, but, um, they're the large, you know, the big ones. Bigger ones that don't fit in, like, the little sleeves, so they go in these bigger sleeves. So those are all in here. In here is the punches that I have left. I've gotten rid of most of them, but... I've kept a few of my favorites and stuff. Uh, these drawers are real heavy. So that's where I just keep all my punches. And then on this one, here's this other tray over here, other stand. So on the top, this is where I keep all my cutting plates and extra cutting plates. You know, the bigger ones, the wider ones, all, all that kind of stuff goes right in there. Now this one, we have bills and wiggle eyes. So again, some of those three uh, you know, the three division things from Dollar Tree. So this is all like bills and stuff. And you're just kind of random art supplies, cork pieces and wood pieces, stuff like that. Here is felt and foam. So, um, this is a piece I found. I need to go back there. So I have like little pieces back here in like a little zipper bag. And then there's a bunch of foam pieces. I use probably foam most and then there's like little pieces back in <clears throat> that little container this is all Maggie Holmes miscellaneous like it's too big to fit in the container with the stuff so I just you know just have different ones you know just pieces sets that I that I have and then back in here I say it's all it's all Maggie stuff um, when I first started to get into Maggie, I, I, had, I cut up a bunch of, like, the cut-apart sheets, and so I have them all cut apart and sept in, separated into, um, the different collections, and I put them in these little Dollar Tree things. And then down here, um, again, I used to do way more artsy coloring, that kind of stuff. It's just a coloring <laughs> book. Um, so I have this big, huge, expensive set of Prismacolor, um, color pencils. I mean, there's just trays and trays of all the different colors of pencils. I think there's three, three tiers of it. So that's all my 
colored pencils. And then I have a bunch of paints. Gonzai Tombi. Um, yeah. Um, watercolor papers. Bristol Smooth. Different colors of paints, sets, and then some like markers. Stuff like that. So that's what all this is. A drawer that I don't get into use very much anymore. But I really need to. All these expensive things and I'm not using. Okay, so that is uh, the end of that. And then Kosher's Pixie on top of stuff, as usual. And that's just my bloom there. I have a lot of older pieces, um, like clips and um, paper clips and stuff, like shaped ones and that kind of stuff. So that's in there. So... There's that, my cute little owl lamp, pink. So anyway, um, I think that is everything. Um, yeah. So hope you guys liked the tour. Hopefully I gave you guys some ideas on storing things and organizing things. Um, I swear sometimes I like organizing as much as I like crafting. So um, I'm just... I'm always buying new containers and <laughs> trying to figure out new ways to store things to make more use of my space, you know, to put more things in smaller areas, stuff like that. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and come along this long, um, these long videos. <laughs> That's kind of why I broke them up so you wouldn't have to watch a bunch at a time. So anyway, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And thanks so much, guys. Bye.